What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner Valentine's Day edition. Right? <laughs> so, you know, if you guys are watching this right now, it's Valentine's Day, and you guys should be with your loved one, showing them much appreciation on this great day of St. Valentine. Right? I mean, this is a big day for us guys out there to show our women how appreciative we are of them. Yep. And for them to show how appreciative they are to us. Yep, works right? both ways. It works both ways. It's definitely a, a two-way streak when it comes to this. Or ladies and ladies or guys, guys, however you guys do it out there. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's, it's 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 a it's a new world. So <laughs> <laughs> so whoever it is, you do you. But on this day, it, it goes for everybody. So it doesn't matter who you're with or what it is. But at this, you know, on this day, you really want to do something special, right? And sometimes people think that special, you know, they, they think that means a lot of money, right? Because something you do special is usually a lot of money. Uh, but no. it, it doesn't necessarily mean that, okay? And on this day, you want to do something just, like, really cool. Something that your partner would, would enjoy, mm -hmm. right? Um, and something that would be kind of memorable. You mm -hmm. know, every year you want to do something that's... You know, that's more memorable than last. It's, it's kind of hard to keep up with those things. Yeah, especially, you know, the guys out there. You know, the, you can't keep stopping at that same stand <laughs> on the way home to get the same exact bouquet of flowers. I mean, you could change it up, make different colors, get the pink ones, get the white ones, Google it, see what each one of the colors mean, because I know they mean something. Yellow, all these yeah, different colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just switch it up a little bit. You know, yeah. I know you still stop at the stand on the way home, uh. but... You know. <laughs> so, listen, guys, there's nothing wrong with stopping at the stand if that's your in your budget. Hey, listen, it is what it is. So work with your budget. That's the first thing. Like, don't over overcompensate or don't put your hat where you can't, you know, don't hang it where hang you can't, hat, you know, where you you can't, can't reach, reach it. Oh. So at that point, you know, don't go crazy. But, listen, if you want to spend a little bit extra money on this, I'm sure your partner will appreciate it, um, especially if you don't do it a lot. You know, this is the one day. You know, unless you have an anniversary, that it's the one special day. It's the one day where you need to be romantic to a certain extent. You got to show that love, okay? And that that could be in any way, shape, or form. That could be, you know, emotionally. You could write them a card. You can buy them something, like flowers, okay? And with flowers, I always give this advice: <laughs> listen to your partner. So if you've been with them for a short amount of time. You, can, you can't really go wrong with getting roses. There's very minimal people out there that don't like roses. Okay, so roses are always a good fit. Usually. If they say they like another flower, though, I would definitely get those flowers. I, w I would listen to them, like, listen, I, I listen to you. I know you like this flower a lot, and that's why I got it for you. Yeah. Right? And make they, sure you listen. Yeah, very, sure, very good. Because sure. I know I told John when I first met him, I actually don't eat chocolate. I hate chocolate. Just about to bring that up. I hate chocolate. I don't just dislike it. Like, the smell of it is repulsive. So, for this particular holiday, John has never gotten me chocolate. No. Thank goodness. No. <laughs> but that is a go-to, okay? The chocolate, because there's not many people like Sharice out there that don't like chocolate. Yeah. You know, I think she was one of the first people I've ever met that did not like chocolate. It just, I, I couldn't believe it. Like, you know how good chocolate is? Like, how many things have chocolate in it? Like... It's just crazy, oh, right? Good. Um, you know, it, it, especially good chocolate, you know, dark Godiva. chocolate. This know? guy likes Godiva. Gosh, man. I mean, you're missing out on a lot of good things with that. But, good thing I'm not eating it because it's keeping me skinny. But it, you know, dark <laughs> chocolate is proven to, to increase mood, right? And that's why, you know, a lot of people do eat it. Isn't it like uh, an aphrodisiac? Aphrodisiac to a certain yeah. extent. I know women like to eat it because, you know, if they're on their, their period and stuff like that, it, it definitely helps them through those times. Mm -hmm. um, so, listen. I listen to your partner. Now, there's not going to be many people like Cherie, so usually <laughs> chocolate is a go-to. Nobody's like me. All right? It's fine. <laughs> there's a go-to for that. So, the next thing is, get them a little stuffed bear. I know I talked about this in a different segment, about getting the three things. That's, you know, the, the, the flowers, <laughs> the card, and the bear. The or bear. some sort of animal. They like another the animal. animal. <laughs> get them an animal. <laughs> I mean, you can even shop online nowadays. It's just crazy. You can literally go to Walgreens, and they have so many different animals on the shelf. Literally, you could just grab one, boom, bada bing, bada boom. And you know what? Even so, I'll give you even. I'll, I'll even go even further. Say you work all day, you, you can't stop by Walgreens, right? Instacart. Instacart will bring you a bear. Yep. Yep. It won't it. Yeah. Yeah. Instacart. You just go on there and just buy it. Yep. And it'll, they'll bring you a bear. I they'll mean, shop at CVS, all these yeah. different places. Yep. So. You guys really have no excuse for no this. No excuses. Things, right? 
Um, you know, if, if you haven't got anything in today's Valentine's Day, you better go out and get something quick. Mm, and there's yeah. a lot of places where you can go out and get something quick. Hurry, run. Make sure it's a little special. And then if you have to go out and get something quick, <laughs> the trick to that is, and I said this in a different segment, get the card. Write something <laughs> nice in the card. Get something that expresses you. Yeah, don't write just write your name, even your if there's feelings. something nice in there. Because... You really, you get this card, it has this really nice, like, saying in it, and it says all these cool, nice, sweet, very touching things. And then you just write, John, don't do that. Don't do that. Or love, John. Yeah. Don't do that. Just just don't do that. I mean, at least write, like, I love you so much, happy Valentine's Day, like, in your handwriting. Right. So it still came from you, kind of, not right. like Hallmark. Right. Hall, Hallmark delivered the card. Right. It's weird. You know, give it, you, whatever your little cute name is, you might have say in there, but, like... Listen, I love spending all my time with you, especially on Valentine's Day or whatever. Maybe, don't take my lines. But <laughs> <laughs> get your own. Get something that might be, you know, special. Or it might be coming from you. Um, so that that's the one thing. Throw that spin on there if you have done that. Next year, obviously, is a whole different ball game. Um, and, and there's different things out there you guys can get, like the big teddy bears that are like six feet tall. You can get them from like forty bucks or something Where like that. Where you put that thing? Who cares? Get it for the day. <laughs> It's Get the it wow day. factor. It's the wow factor. Do you think that, I mean, unless you're giving oh Venus to Fleur flowers that last for a year, right? That's if you're getting regular that. flowers from like a Publix or a Sideshow Bob guy on the side of the street. Sideshow Bob. Um, <laughs> you know, it's the wow factor. So if you get that big bear, true, true. listen, it's 40 bucks, dude. Give it to some kid later on. Donate it somewhere. True. Who cares? Yeah. Maybe she'll keep it in her room and sleep with it every night. Yeah, kick and you that, out. That kind of knocks your spice yeah, out. I was but, gonna say. but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So it's just a wow factor. Like, oh my God, it'll be great for a picture. She might like Instagram and post it on there. Or whatever it is. <laughs> so just do that, oh right? But I mean, listen, there's other things that you guys can do too as well. I mean, well, listen, also, I'll go back to uh, 2008. Wow. 2000, whatever. So back then, right? And we didn't have any money, literally, no money. Um, so, you know, when Valentine's Day came around, what I did was, um, I cut out these little, these little coupon things, right? I found one the other day, actually. <gasps> yeah, we should show it to them. I don't know if I have it. Yes, I, I mean, do. I hear, obviously. I'm saying, but... we just, we'll send a picture and we'll, we'll get uploaded. Okay. It. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be cute. But no, you made these little coupons and on the coupons, you can write something cute. Like, you know, a uh, free one hour massage, like yep. redeem through the hours of 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. Don't write that. Or maybe there's something more adult-like. <laughs> something, you know, a little bit more, you know, sexy. So, yeah. you know, there's a, you can be creative about it. It's not always comes down to the money. Right. It doesn't come down to right. that. You can do that. You can make your significant other dinner, you know, whatever it might be, and have a nice romantic dinner just the both of you. Yep. Um, it could be it could be a numerous amount of things that you guys can do. Absolutely. You know, to Absolutely. make it special. It just depends where you're at in the country. I talked about that, too. So, I mean... You're here in Florida, you got beautiful weather. You can pretty much do anything you want. I mean, yeah. you know, on Valentine's Day, I mean, you can go to the beach if you really want to because it's that nice of weather. You guys go down there. You guys maybe have a picnic in there, which I really wouldn't recommend having a picnic on the beach. The reason is because <laughs> sand. You don't want sand in your mouth and, like, chewing grit and, and sandpaper, you know. everybody The, thinks the birds come for your food. <laughs> that's another thing. <laughs> birds of prey will they be coming come. for you, they flocking will, on you. They will come for that food. That's right. They want, they <laughs> want those be, eats. This will turn into a very non-romantic thing for you like this. Yes, yes. <laughs> you do not want your date running down the beach. You know, with a with a chicken. That leg was in my, her brother, hand. my brother, my brother, my brother. We got chasing after. This like, ah. this is when, yeah, it was when he was little. He had a little. We had a little KFC bucket of chicken on the. On the I know. This is like my, my. This is where I grew up from, right? So, anyways, KFC on the beach, and you know, he grabbed a chicken leg, and he he starts walking with it, and then like I guess these birds start coming, and he took the you know the chicken wing, and he's holding it up, and he's running with the chicken, and all the birds are following him and I'm like drop the chicken drop the chicken <laughs> so ever since I saw that go down we're not going to be eating on the beach don't be that person <laughs> on the beach okay so but listen if you guys aren't in sunny Florida whatever it is you guys can do the romantic dinner inside you guys can do all different types of things like I said like a little getaway vacation I said this beforehand in a different segment where you guys plan a little thing to the hotel or whatever it is because today's Sunday right it's Valentine's Day mm -hmm. um, you know you might have to work tomorrow you know, maybe you guys did something last night mm -hmm. for Valentine's Day, like pre-Valentine's Day, and kind of beat the crowds. Because, I mean, listen, 
it falls on this day, right? But you guys can celebrate the day before. It's really about you guys spending quality time together, mm-hmm. showing each other that great emotion, um, and increasing your bond, I guess, you know? I mean, every year should get better for you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, and you guys should learn more about each other and become closer. Mm-hmm. And if you guys aren't, now's the time to start getting back in track and in tune to each other mm-hmm. so you guys can start growing back together instead of apart. 100%. You don't want that. Um, and take these days. Uh, they're, they're very special memories. You guys can take photos. You guys can upload them to Facebook. And the next year, you guys see these awesome memories. Comes up again, yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, it's cool. It really is. So, you know, hopefully you're with your partner in a long period of time or next year. Uh, yeah, next, you know? next year your, your thing pops up. You're like, oh, let me not show my new girlfriend <laughs> that picture. <laughs> I'm not sharing this again. I'm not sharing that. Back to the archives. <laughs> So, yeah, so, I mean, these are just some tips and tricks from me and Sharice. You know, hopefully you guys are enjoying your day. If you don't have a loved one or everything out there, listen, there's plenty of websites and all like that. I'm sure you can find a partner out there yeah. or a date. Or your so, dog. That's fine, too. Uh, or just spend time with yourself. You know what? Love yourself for the day. Yeah. You don't need somebody for today. Yeah. You know, some people, they have to, oh, I have to have somebody for Valentine's Day. Or I need a date. I especially see girls do that. And I don't know it's because... You know, they just, they need the security factor. They have a date that day and they can tell their friends or loved ones or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. They want a free meal, mm-hmm. um, yeah. you know, and free guys can do does. the exact same thing. So I'm not saying one way or the other. Free food's always um, good. You know. It tastes better when it's free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm terrible. <laughs> so listen, guys, just make it a special day one way or the other <laughs> with your loved one, right, or by yourself, you know. Pamper yourself, that's what it is. Pamper your loved one. Do something really, really cool. Yeah. And if you're seeing this now, you still got time to make reservations, yep. to go yeah. do something. Somebody has something open out there, so go do something with your loved one. Hurry. Take the advice. You guys, if you guys ain't got those gifts, go get them now. For you girls, men deserve a gift too. It's not just your day, so go and get them something too. Chocolates, underwear, that's a big one. Who doesn't like underwear, even if they don't wear it? I know I've gotten John underwear before from Walgreens or something with hearts on it just because it looked cute, you know? So just be creative and get them something, too. It's not just your day. Yep. And make sure you guys show each other a lot of love in the nighttime. (laughs) For sure. (laughs) (laughs) If you guys need help after this, you guys can always use our Cupid's Candy. That's an awesome therapy. It'll get both of you guys to the next level a pure pleasure. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And this is another Cupid's Corner. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you next Sunday, 11 a.m. See you then.